And we're live! Uh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Blitzwanger, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new customs live stream. Of course, happy Canada Day to everybody tuning on in. If you are a fellow Canadian, happy Canada Day to you as well. Of course, with that all in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on ahead and get a bunch of characters customized here today. I hope that you guys will enjoy the stream. Obviously, if you do... I do want to ask you guys for a little bit of help here. So if you can, please go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button on this video. That would really, really help out a ton. That is the absolute best way to show support to the channel. Now, of course, beyond that, if you're still interested in supporting the channel, the best way to do so would be to become a member of the channel. So if you'd like to become a member, you gain exclusive emotes, you get a batch next to your name, priority in sub-matches, and obviously, the link is always at the top of the description as well as just dropped it in the chat. If you'd like to support the channel beyond that, you can do what Mr. Chase Riley just did, and that is Super Chat, dropping the 199 Super Chat before we even got started. Let me start the stream, and then I'm going to read the Super Chat. Let's do this thing, guys! And we are live. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Who's in the chat? Let's give some shout outs. We've got Finers in the chat. We've got uh, Diamond Destroyer Lou in the chat. We got Dan the Man in the chat. We got Zach the Hokage in the chat. We got Jacob Condrone in the chat. We got Denied Hornet. We got Exclusive Gamers. We got Der Bear. We got Luis Valdez. How are you doing? Uh, we got Dimension ZX. We got Alex S. Clampier. Mohamed Arfin. Spiders in the chat. We got Harry O'Neill. We got Pleb Zepper. We've got Zepper. Yeah. Uh, we've got a J Jovan Fili. Feliciano, maybe? I probably messed it up. Okay, let's get to some of the Super Chats as well, guys. Uh, so, the first Super Chat was actually from Chase Riley. Thank you for the 199 Super Chat, my friend. Make Guff. I don't even know what that is, but... Chase Riley, challenge accepted. That will be the first character that we create here today. Um, then, we got Swarm Tracks. Good googly moogly. Coming through with the biggest Super Chat of the stream for the 999 buckaroos. Sorry, Blitz. I've been on vacation, but I'm back and ready to start donating. Swarm Tracks, you do not need to donate. You can just simply watch. That would be very, very much appreciated. Thank you so very much for your support, my friend. And thank you for the insanely generous 999 uh, Super Chat. And also, hope you had a great vacation. Chase Lasco, thank you so very much for the 499 Super Chat. Can you play Dead by Daylight again? You can stream customs. Chase Lasco. Uh, I've actually been thinking, ever since we played Flee the Facility, I've honestly been thinking to go on ahead and um, do a Dead by, La Dead by Daylight stream. I think I'd have to do it on the Famba Potion channel. From what I remember, Dead by Daylight is quite, like, mature. So, what's the name of the character? Guff? Okay, let me look up a picture of Guff here. Guff from Fortnite. Oh. Why, Chase? So, this is the character that I'm supposed to create. Here we go, guys. Wait a minute. That's the character. You have got to be kidding me. Chase! Did you just... Did you just wake up today and you thought to yourself, Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful weather. It's Canada today. Everything is wonderful. You know what I'm going to do? Recommend the worst possible character creation. Huh. Okay, let's do this, guys. I'm a little bit salty. Uh, Blitz Magic, good googly moogly. Thank you for the five buckaroo and then the 20 buckaroo super chat. Back to back, making you the biggest super chatter of the stream. Thank you so very much for your support, my friend. I can finally super chat. Yo, Blitz, this is Blitz Plays, but I changed my name to Blitz Magic. Thank you so very much for your support. Hey, guys, what's up? Not much, Blitz Magic. Thank you for uh, super chatting. Again, guys, don't forget, for those of you that super chatted, if there's a certain character that you want to see as well, you can make that recommendation. Speaking of which, Zofo, thank you so very much for the two buckaroo super chat. Hey, Blitz, can you make Luigi? Yes. Luigi, Zofo, Guff was recommended by Chase Riley. Okay. So, let's get to work. We need to build Guff first. So, Guff is that, like, giant... I don't even know what... What is, what is Guff? Is it supposed to be, like, a 
A plush doll? What? What? What is that thing? What is that thing? Seriously. I mean, I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a... <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, Swarm Tracks, thank you so very much for the generous 1499 super chat, my friend. I've missed these streams for the past couple of days, but I'm glad I'm back. Well, Swarm Tracks, happy to see you back. Thank you so very much for your support, my friend. Uh, okay, so let's begin with the easy stuff. So the legs and the arms are supposed to be kind of like yellow. So I think that's right. And then the upper part of the arm, we're going to go for... Oh, man, I don't think we have that kind of color because it's kind of like a almost like a salmon color, if that makes sense. The blue will work. It'll be like a bright blue. I'm trying to decide which one of these works best. I think probably that one. The problem is we're not going to get the right color on the uh, upper part of the character. So I apologize about that in advance because there's nothing in the game that's going to be a fit here. Oh, Chase Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why this? There's so many other characters. There's so many cool skins in Fortnite. But you have to go and choose this one. Alright, so I think the closest we're going to get is probably this. So we're going to go over the purple kind of color. Again, I'm well aware of the fact that it's not going to be perfectly correct. It's, it's going to be very tough to make that perfectly correct. So... Um... Let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go that color and then sort of highlights like that. It's not supposed to be that much of a muscular structure. So maybe that. And then he has a star, right? A big giant star on the chest, which actually... You know what? Never mind, dude. I'm just being salty, bro. Chase, challenge accepted, bro. Please don't super chat again for something even more ridiculous. Uh, wing, wing, Winger Games. Thank you so very much for the one buckaroo super chat, my friend. Thank you so very much for your support. Chase Lasco, thank you so very much for the 199 super chat. Can you make Trapper? Sure. Trapper from Dead by Daylight. And that was Chase Lasco. Uh, Clifford Sutton, thank you so very much for the 199 super chat. Hey, Blitz, can you make the Emperor? Sure. The Emperor. Uh, this was requested by Clifford. Good googly moogly Matt 0124 coming through with... I think that was the biggest super chat of the day, I believe. Thank you so very much for your insane support, Matt 0124. Thank you for the 2499. Can you make spawn next? So, we have created Spawn before, Matt, but you know what? I think we could do uh, an even better job than we have previously. So, yes, we can. Uh, thank you for the request, and thank you for the insanely, insanely generous super chat. <sighs> Holy moly, what is going on today? We're just like super chat city over here. Okay, let me see. I, I need to see a picture of Guff again. Okay, so the legs are blue, or upper part of the legs is blue, and then the lower part is supposed to be yellow as well. So we're going to go with this, I guess. So we'll go blue. Which blue did we use? I think this one, right? So blue and yellow. Okay. Now, for the more difficult aspects of this character. So to try to make the character seem bulkier... You see, I was thinking to maybe use this, but then we would get rid of the star, so that's a, that's obviously a problem. Uh, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I will read that in just a second. We could make the character maybe seem a little bit larger in scale by using this. Let's go with that, maybe. Now, the face is actually pretty simplistic, so this works for the face. Man! My phone keeps locking, so I can't see the uh, picture. I'm almost thinking maybe I should have gone for this color. Because I think that's closer, honestly. Ah, I messed up. Okay, we're going to need to change the color. Because that actually does seem to be a little bit better. So, we'll need to do that. Okay, I don't know how we're going to give him big giant ears. Because he's supposed to have these two giant ears. Uh... 
I mean, that's not gonna work. Let me think. What do we think, chat? How do we give, uh... Um, guff. Big giant ears. Because that's something that we're supposed to implement for this character. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to need to try to make the jaw wider as well. So maybe this repainted pink. Okay, you know what? Let me just redo everything so that we've got it all correct. Okay. Then for the hip color, pink. And then the torso needs to be recolored as well. Guys, I will read the super chats in just one second. For those of you that are, like, concerned, don't worry. I, I'm well aware of the fact that you super chatted. Just give me a second to try to get this character completed a bit more. Any suggestions, guys? Uh, Antonio Ladaria, thank you so very much for the 14 ZAR. Make Ellie from The Last of Us 2. That sounds awesome because I know that that won't be... Uh, particularly difficult to build because, again, most of the human characters are kind of easy to design. Uh, Antonio Ladaria, I'm just going to write down your request. Uh, then we have Simon uh, Pe Pin Pin Sent. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Simon makes a request for Captain Rex. Okay, we got some more Star Wars fans. Man, we got so much variety in the requests today. And then Paul Woodward. Thank you so very much for... Sounds like Squidward, honestly. Uh, thank you for the two bookaroo super chat. Hello, can you attempt Ellie? What the heck? Antonio Ladaria and Paul Woodward. Are you one of the... Well, actually, you can't be because you've super chatted in two different currencies. So you're not even in the same country. That is weird. I guess just a lot of people are hyped over... Um, last of us uh don't forget guys if you're enjoying the stream hit that thumbs up button as well if we hit 500 likes we'll do another one of these streams next week so my goal right now is to try to figure out what how we can make the face look a little bit wide wider i guess so the beard kind of works he also has a blue hat because of course he does I don't know how to do those ears. Like, that's the problem. Does that work? Chat, what do we think? Pink is too light. Make it darker. I don't know. Like, I mean, it's, it's pretty pink. Like, look at that color. Like, it's... Again, it's like orange pink. I agree with you. But the other one looked way too purple. Like, I, I get that the colors are not perfect. I'm well aware of that. But I also think that that's going to be kind of the closest that we're going to get. Hmm. I wonder what gets repainted on this. Okay. Let me see. Ah, that doesn't look great. Maybe if we could add... Nope. Well, let us add anything. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. It's not perfect. Let me give him a pickaxe. Wait. Is there no pickaxe in the game? I could have sworn there was a pickaxe specifically. Okay. We'll give him a guitar to pickaxe. Scared the heck out of me. Uh, Trey Franklin, welcome to the Blitz Army, my friend. Thank you so very much for your support. You get the salute. In addition to that, of course, don't forget to go on ahead and enjoy your 20 exclusive emotes, a batch next to your name, priority in sub matches, access to the Discord server. Thank you so very much for your support, my friend. Um, Chase, please, next week, whenever we do this stream, don't. Do, why? Why? Why a skin like that? For the very first design. Like, we gotta warm up. We gotta first design some other characters that are maybe not nearly as complicated. Come on, man. Also, Muammin, uh, Arfin, Zofo, uh, M. Carter. Thank you guys so very much for welcoming a brand new member to the Blitz Army. All right. Next request was 
for from Zofo actually making a request for Luigi. It's a me, Luigi. Mario time. Okay, so let's do this. We've got Luigi to design as our second request of the day. So let's do this thing. Uh, also, guys, thank you so very much. 339 likes already. We're getting very, very close to the point of uh, being able to go on ahead and unlock our um, stream for next week. So if you guys uh, obviously enjoy the stream uh, this week, go on ahead and leave a like. Uh, Blitz, Chase likes you raging like me. Yep, it seems like it. Sure seems like it. Okay, let's do this. It's time to design Luigi. Um, okay, so the most complicated thing will be to try to figure out a design that matches for the overalls. So we know that there's one... I forget. Is it Henchman? I don't remember which character it is that has the overalls. There's one character that has specifically the overall design. What the heck am I... I don't remember which character it was, honestly. Have I missed it? I might just... Maybe I've already scrolled past it, possibly. Oh, man, I missed it. Does anybody remember? What was the name of the character that has the overalls? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Dude, seriously? How am I missing this? There we go. Okay, so it's the fisherman. So, problem here is that obviously the overalls are going to be the wrong color. We can't... We can't have them be the right color, unfortunately. Just because of the way that the design is. I wish it would let you repaint. Because if it did, I really genuinely think we could knock this out of the park. Like, we could do an exceptionally good job with this design. But that's kind of the big... Um, negative here so okay so i guess we kind of have to decide do we try to match do we give luigi a different color pair oh wait he has also brown boots i forgot so maybe we could go this way do we okay chat i need your help here do we go with just paint this blue and then the boots will still be brown sort of like that do we go with that? Type in one or type in two if you think we should just go on ahead and try to match the overalls that are available in the game. So it would be yellow and brown. Let me know. Uh, can you make... Sorry. OG says Blitz with a whole lot of exclamation marks. So you really have to scream it. Can you make your channel logo character? Possibly just... Okay. Well, not if I drop my controller. Just let me finish the... Uh... First couple of characters, and then we'll go from there. 374 likes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support, guys. We are getting there, slowly but surely. Thank you. Two. Wow, I'm actually surprised. People are voting for two. Who are you trying to make? Luigi. Two. Oh, okay, now there's a lot of ones in chat. So one was... We just go to the blue design. Okay, there's more ones. Okay, fair enough. If that's what you guys think we should go for, then that's what we will go for. I wish I could repaint the yellow part there to blue. If we could have done that, I really think we would have had a really, really cool, accurate design. Unfortunately, the game does not permit us to do that. I think we'll actually probably just go blue on there. Just like that. And so, we need to remove the shoulder pads. I also think what we can do is we could probably give Luigi a mustache, right? I mean, that's kind of a must-have for Luigi. And then... I guess for the mustache, we could probably just go for... Um, yeah, I think we'll just go for the mustache here. There we go. Okay, then for the face... There is no way to select a character that has blue eyes uh, like Luigi does. So because of that, we're just going to go with just a plain <laughs> face. Why are his eyebrows missing? Where are his eyebrows? Luigi, 
Where are your eyebrows, bro? Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we got to give him a hat. Oh, this is going to be divisive again. Okay, chat. I'm going to need your help here as well. Another thing where you guys will need to help out with. And that is with the hat. Because, again, ideally we want the hat to show a little bit of the uh, hair as well. Which I think there's one hat like that, right? Wait, which one is it? Oh, this one right here. So we could go with this. Okay. Chat. So it would be... What else is repainted on this? Oh, the hair. Okay. So... Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That's the completely wrong haircut. Okay. So I guess... We have to go with this, don't we? Is the whole hat green? It is, right? I think a brighter green would work a little bit better. So that's our take on Luigi. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Can I get some 10 out of 10s in chat, please? The painter cap. What's the painter cap? Let's see that. Painter cap. It's going to be up here then. Uh, what? The painter cap? Is, is, is it called painter cap? I don't have an item called the painter cap. That's good? Okay. So that was a request by Zofo. Thank you so very much for your request, my friend. Uh, next up, we had Chase Lasko, who made a request for the Trapper from Dead by Daylight. Okay. So, this is going to be a, a monster character. Uh, I think. I don't even know what this character looks like. Holy moly, that is terrifying. That is a face. Oddly enough, he does wear overalls as well. Oddly enough. Okay, so this is an absolutely terrifying design. Um, okay. Here we go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I remember this from last week. Okay, chat, please don't, don't pay attention to this design. Do not pay attention to this design. That was just a total, total mistake there. Please don't pay attention to that design. It was just a total error. Error in calculation. Okay, so, um, we need to, you know what, he's got, like, on the right arm, he's got, like, um, steel, which, or at least it looks like steel, sticking out. Uh, so that would be the right arm, so let's go on ahead and, um, see how we can possibly incorporate that. Um, uh, no, no rice or Reese? Is that Reese, like the guy that used to be a member? Uh, thank you so very much for the 199 super chat, my friend. Uh, says, uh, not Reese22 says, can you make Nate from Legends of Tomorrow? Sure. Nate, Legends, I don't know who that is, of Tomorrow suit. Um, Rice. Sorry. 20, or sorry, not Rice, 22. Thank you so very much for your super chat, my friend. Okay, so we need to try to get the... Um, elements of kind of metal. And his arms are like... Is that just dirt or is he like burnt? I don't know. It is uh, definitely a pretty crazy looking design. Hmm. Let me repaint this. So kind of to get those like metal bars sort of sticking out. Okay. Um, I guess for the hands, you have to go with uh, kind of a bloody look there. Then he has a big giant uh, cleaver, I guess, as a weapon. So maybe that would work best. It's supposed to be like silver, maybe a little bit dirtied up, so maybe like that, kind of. 
think that'll do. Or actually, uh, maybe that would look cooler. I think that's probably the most accurate there. Okay, uh, so the rest of the design should be actually pretty easy. So the legs are just sort of like grayish. Oh no, the boots are black. Maybe just an all black attire? I don't, I can't even tell, honestly. Is it dark gray or black? It's, I have no idea, honestly. It's kind of, let's see. Let me take a look first at what could we possibly use for the, uh, Torso. We can't use the same look that we just used because obviously that would be inaccurate. Mm, no. Hmm. So this is another tough one. Uh, I mean, ideally, we probably are supposed to use the overalls, but the problem is, again, it's completely inaccurate. In terms of the look of the character. I, what the heck is that over here on the shoulder that that character has? Are those like links? What the heck is that? I don't even know. I seriously can't tell. I don't think this character was even in the game when I played it. Okay, you know what? Let's try. Let's see how it looks once we uh, add a little more uh, details. I wish you could repaint the... Um... I wish you could repaint the uh, overalls, obviously, because then we would have... An accurate design or a more accurate design but let's see okay and then the most terrifying aspect of this character is the face which is just nightmare fuel basically okay so we want something with giant teeth and it's kind of just a really creepy looking mask um hmm The eyes are not supposed to be showing. Doo -doo -doo. And it's a white mask, right? That's not going to work. Uh, any ideas, guys? It's a trap! For what? Bomber Noodle, what's up, man? How are you doing, dude? You missed the super chat? Sorry. Oh, you're right. I did miss the super chat. Apologies. Christian Wayne, thank you so very much for the five buckaroo super chat, my friend. Can you make Princess Leia? Yes. Princess Leia from A New Hope. A New Hope. Uh, and Talia Al Ghul and Catwoman from the Arkham games. Okay, we'll see. Let me let me write down Talia. And then we'll, uh, I, I don't know if we'll make Catwoman as well. We'll see, depending on the time. Because I want to obviously also maybe take another request from chat. Okay. So, um, we need the, the problem here is trying to figure out how to do the mask. This trapper looks horrifying. I agree. It's definitely a pretty terrifying design. So, I think that's kind of an interesting take as well. Mm. That's all right. I'm trying to think how we could possibly. Maybe there's something we could do if we went this way. Then face decal. I 
I'm just trying to think of like other ways that we could possibly get the character to look correct. That's definitely not going to work. Any ideas, chat? Shriek. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. I really do think that the silver banshee face kind of works. The problem is it's supposed to look like a mask. And there's no way for us to do something where it looks only as a mask. Because it's going to be like over the entire head of the character. There's nothing like where it's just the front mask sort of thing, you know? And so that makes it really, really, really tough. You know what I mean? <laughs> Make oops monkey? Maybe we'll do that as the last character actually. That could be fun. Zoom's face. Okay, let me see. Oh, you're right, because it gives you the uh, white eyes, right? Okay, that's an interesting take. I'm just trying to think, like, do we add anything for the head or no? Actually, you know what? I think you're right. That's probably the way to go. So there you go. Um, Chase Alasco, there's your requested design here for today. All right, next up. Clifford Sutton had requested the Emperor Palpatine. So here we go. Uh, thank you for the super chat. I'll read that in just a second. All right, so. Next up, we have Emperor Palpatine will be the next design that we work on here uh chase lasco thank you so very much for the 199 super chat now as well can you make airhead from fortnite air head who are these characters like are you guys literally just googling like the most random fortnite skins i don't know which character that is we'll look it up in a little bit okay um, don't forget, guys, by the way, we're getting very close to that 500 likes goal. The Emperor. Whoops. Okay. So, let's get to designing Emperor Palpatine. All right. So, where do we start? I guess let's start with the hands. <laughs> Uh, for the sleeves, just plain black. This will actually probably turn out to be kind of relatively easy when I think about it, just based on, um, the costume for the Emperor. I think the face will probably be the most difficult aspect to this character. So, I do know that much. Uh, no. Actually, I think this will look pretty good. Let's see. We repaint that black. And then for the legs. We're not just going to go plain. Um, black. We'll do that. Just so that there is a little bit of a detail there. Okay. Then we go to cape. Obviously got to give him a big giant cape. Um. Okay. Now, we will give him a hood. Probably this one, right? I think that will look pretty clean. And so now the most difficult aspect of this character, and that is the face. Which face do we select for Emperor Palpatine? He does have yellow eyes. So I almost think that maybe that works kind of well, doesn't it? Guys, what do you think? 
Too much of a monster's, like, mouth, or do you think that that's pretty good? We smashed 500 likes. We actually did already. Let's see. Dude, we did. Thank you guys for the support. 500 likes in less than 35 minutes. That's insane. Thank you so very much for the support. Guys, keep up the likes. Let's go on ahead and aim for maybe 700 likes next. Can you make uh, comics Black Widow? Shay, um, I'm... We'll see. Let me just finish these designs first. And then after that, maybe we'll throw a few more uh, from chat. I kind of want to try to maybe honestly create the uh, oops monkey because I think it'd be hilarious. Yes. I mean, I think that that's pretty accurate. I guess the one thing that I would personally think would be kind of a cool addition would be to go on ahead and also add lightning elements because, you know, Palpatine is obviously known for his ability to use lightning. So I probably would go with this color just so it's like nice and vibrant. So, whoops, sorry, wrong style. And so there is our take on Emperor Palpatine. So that was a request by Clifford Sutton. Hopefully you're pretty happy with that design. Next up was Spawn. Let's go. We're going to do a good job now again. Spawn. Okay. So here's what I want to do with the Spawn design. I think last time we went for... I'm pretty sure we went for like a axe, like a battle axe for him. So maybe we'll go with the sword this time. I think that'd be kind of cool. Just something a little different. So first of all, we got to pick a cool looking sword. I think we might actually make it green, kind of like his energy blasts. I think that would look pretty sweet. And then let's get to work on the actual design. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is give him an absolutely epic cape. Because that's one of the key elements of spawn. <laughs> is the ridiculously epic cape. And we're gonna go bright red on the outside and a little bit of a darker red on the inside just to create, you know what? I think it's probably better to go with the dark red overall. But the bright red does look really, really cool. I think that'll work. That way we have kind of a little bit of both elements incorporated. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops. Sorry. I forgot to even change the name of the character. How could I? Spawn. Well, welcome to uh, your Lego form, I guess. Um, okay. So, some of the things that are easy about the design first. <laughs> Repaint the gloves. I think for the most part, what we're going to do for the legs is going to be mostly... And I wish that this design was just a little bit different. And what I mean by that is that I wish you could kind of change the color. Or sorry, change the leg design. I mean, I guess that kind of works still. I'm just trying to think if there's any way that we could do so that the left leg is different to the right leg. Ah, that's not going to work. I'm just going to try uh, a little bit of a different idea here. Actually, let me see. I wonder what the bizarro leg looks like. Hmm. Actually, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Dude, this is probably going to be the most accurate design we've ever done. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go uh, left leg, Adam Strange. Uh... Wait, what the heck? You can only change one color if you pick one leg at a time. That's so weird. Okay. That's very strange. Did you see that? So it's like, if you're doing only one of the leg designs at once, it doesn't give you both colors to recolor. Interesting. Uh, okay, and then right leg, we're going to go for Bizarro. I think that'll be very, very, very accurate. Then for the hips design, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's not bad. 
We could go for that, actually. So let's try that, right? Now, for the arms, he does have the gauntlets that have, uh, like, red on the gauntlets. So ideally, we want to try to find something that would incorporate that. I think that's a little bit too much red there. Uh, that won't work. Okay, so we're ideally looking for something that has red gauntlets. Okay, so that does not work perfectly because it's obviously the wrong color. It's brown instead of red, but I still think that that could work because it almost looks like it has kind of that leather design. So, I th ooh, wait a minute. That works very, 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 very well. Uh, what about this? Is that even better? No, it's not. I think the other design was actually perfect. The Kid Flash design seems to work perfectly. Okay. Um, now, for the torso. What the heck do we use for spawn torso? Guys, what are we thinking? So the first thing that I thought of would be uh, probably to go on ahead and use the... Um... Oh, dude, can you imagine if we could repaint this? Or like two different colors? That would be really cool. So the first one I'm thinking of is probably, uh, what's his name? Beast Boy. I think that's, from a design perspective, I think that will be pretty close. I think that's the one that we've used in the past, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure this is the torso we've used previously, was this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I'm going to take a look at which face we could maybe use. So he has green eyes. And then kind of white around the eyes. Hmm. Yikes. I mean, you could use the Bane. It's kind of the wrong color, but... Is he making spawn? That is correct, Skylar Campbell. Dude, I love when people can tune in and actually figure out who it is because it's the most embarrassing moment where somebody tunes in and they're like, who are you building? It's like, oh no. I guess it like looks nothing like those characters. Gaming pizza is so insane at Fortnite, really? Okay, cool, cool. Very cool to hear that. Uh... Mink Ang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I've got a few more characters to... Uh, the guy looks like a vampire. I mean, he's kind of, I guess, vampire-esque because of his giant cape and everything. Yeah, August Barnes. It also does help that it actually says spawn. <laughs> You're right. But look how many times people ignore that. Like, they'll still... You'll still have people tune in who will be like, uh, who are you making? You know? And it's like... I think it's on the screen, but people still don't know. You know? I'm trying to think if there's any way that we could possibly do a better job with this design. Okay. So I'm not seeing any uh, other, like, recommendations. So I guess... It's up to me to decide what we're going to go with here. I mean, I think the Bane design works kind of well because at least you get kind of like that white around the eyes as well. So that's kind of neat. I want to see if there is possibly a way that we could... Is there any way that we could maybe do that using one of the custom... Um, faces? I don't think there is. Like, we could probably go with that, but I don't think that that's all that more accurate. I guess you could maybe get the green eyes that way, but that's not great looking. Like, that's not very accurate at all. Yeah, that's going to be... I think Bane is probably the best you're going to do, honestly. So, I think we're going to go with Bane. Okay. Okay. I think that right there will be our take on Spawn.
That actually turned out really cool. Definitely happy with that. Uh, thank you, Matt0124, for your request. Uh, next up, Antonio Ladaria and also um, Paul Woodward both requested Ellie from The Last of Us. Uh, in the meantime, a bomb uh, six twenty. Thank you so very much for the one ninety nine super chat. Uh, not often that you see somebody who's a fan of uh, the character of a bomb, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you should try to make the Black Order from Marvel. I'm not going to be able to get all of them done. Uh, a bomb, if you want, uh, make a suggestion for one, and uh, we'll try to design that one character. Okay, so. Uh, and you don't need to super chat again. Just post it in the chat. I'll try to pay it. Like, don't post it now. Post it in a little while once I am uh, done with these couple designs. And then uh, we'll take the request that you have in mind. Okay, so it's not quite the same ponytail sort of haircut that she has. But I think it's relatively close. Okay, then for the face. I think actually maybe the one with the scar kind of makes sense, right? After all, in the world of The Last of Us, it makes total sense that the characters would be somewhat scarred. What does this change? Wrinkle. Okay, I thought that's how you change the color on the scar. I guess you can change the color on the scars. I wish we could make them maybe look a little bit less, like, cartoony, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, I do need to remember that one of her arms has the um, tattoo. It's the right arm, right? Let me check. Ellie from the last verse. Okay, yes. So it is the right arm. Okay, so we need to, for the right arm, we need to somehow ideally incorporate maybe the tattoo, if possible. I don't know if we will find something like that. And the problem is you're going to not get the sleeve shirt. Hmm. That's a bummer. Because I'm trying to figure out if there's a way where we can have the sleeveless shirt or like short sleeve shirt, but then also uh, the tattoo, because that would be obviously ideal. Dang it. What about this? So I guess it's kind of like you have to pick and choose here what you want. So you can either go for the detail of having the tattoo by picking like even something like this could possibly work here. Because you could kind of have the tattoo design there. So you basically just want something. Ooh. Okay, so we could go with this. But then we have to change the color of the shirt. So it would be instead of the jean sh uh, shirt. Okay. You know what? I, I think we have to... We're going to have to choose no tattoo, but at least the right design. So it's going to be um, short sleeve, kind of a jean or jeans colored. I almost think maybe it's this color, honestly. I think that probably is it. Okay. Now, the legs is just kind of a jeans. So, darker though. So, maybe like, whoops. Dark gray. Uh, belt. Oh, wait. I actually have to find one that we can recolor. One of these has like a regular belt design that you can actually recolor. Uh, there it is. So gray like that. And then 
for... Oh, this will be tough. Because we want to try to find kind of just a regular shirt. Which I don't think there's a lot of designs like that. Ideally a shirt where it's like a bluish shirt and then a green shirt underneath. That's the ideal combo that we're going for. But uh, I obviously don't think we're going to find something that will be exact. So we're going to need to to do a little bit of improvising here. I'm definitely certain of that. But let's just scroll through first to see uh, what the absolute uh, design or best design might be. Freddy Freeman. Oh, wait. We should actually make the shirt like recolored. So th that could work. It's not... It doesn't look like a shirt. It looks more like a jacket. But at least it's plain clothes. Like it's not like a superhero outfit. Because obviously we're going for a character that's supposed to look very, very realistic. It's a character that exists in a post-apocalyptic but still realistic world. So... That's a key aspect that we're trying to capture here. Maybe even that. I mean, this gives you a hoodie, so I guess that's a little bit incorrect. The good thing is, though, we can cover up the hoodie part because most of the game you wear a backpack anyhow. So what we could do, as long as the game lets us, I don't know if it'll allow us, but let's see if it will to wear a backpack. So perfect. And then what we could do is just... Repaint that, sort of like this, right? And by the way, for those of you that maybe are tuning in and like, that looks nothing like Aquaman. It's because we're not building Aquaman, bro. We're actually building uh, Ellie from The Last of Us 2. So what do you guys think? I think that's a pretty good take right there on the character. Let me know. What would you guys uh, rate this character out of 10? Or, I guess, this particular design. Why did it not change the name? I'm confused. Oh, there we go. Sweet. All right. The next request actually comes to us from Simon uh, Pinsent, who had requested Captain Rex. Well, let's do uh, that. That'll be interesting. Matthew Shan says, hi. Hello, Matthew Shan. How are you doing? Can you make Lloyd from Lego Ninjago, please? Pop-Tart React YT asks that particular request. Uh, let me get through some of these other designs because I don't know how many I've actually ha have written down because I literally was just writing them down. I didn't number them. So let me see how many designs we can actually get done. And then we'll go from there. So Captain Rex... Obviously, we got to give him the uh, dual-wielding pistols, right? 9 out of 10. Dang, that's a pretty good rating right there. I don't like the shirt, so it's 8 out of 10. Okay, got it. 8.5. It was the other shirt. If it was the other shirt, it would have been a 9. So you guys think the other one looked better? We can switch back. Uh, we can definitely switch back. Okay, so we'll go with the kind of shorter blasters here. So we'll readjust. Dual wielding, right? All right, Captain Rex. I keep wanting to say Captain Jack Sparrow. Okay, uh, blue arm design. Whoops, sorry. So for the arms, we're just gonna go plain blue. Uh, I'll probably go with this blue, actually. I think that'll look pretty clean. He does have that, like, um, what is that supposed to be? Uh, like, that kind of shoulder uh, cover? Mm. Unfortunately, it's the wrong shoulder. It's supposed to be <laughs> over on the other side. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think we're going to find anything that's going to be... Yeah, I don't think there's anything that would be on the other shoulder. So we'll have to just go with that shoulder design. I know it's not ideal, but it's sort of the best we could do here. Um, okay. And then for the legs, just all plain white. Just like that. Okay, the most difficult... Part of this character will be probably, if I had to guess, would probably end up being the um, 
Helmet, right? That'll be the toughest part. Unless if you want an unmasked Rex, which would work pretty well. I wish that you could get rid of the uh, red there, because that would look very cool. It would look very, very much like the armor that we're supposed to try to get here. Mm. So we're trying to come up with an armor that works well for Captain Rex from Star Wars. That looks cool, but a little bit of an incorrect color there with the orange. Can you make Sweeney Todd? What the heck is a Sweeney Todd? Um, what Clone Wars episode are you on? I haven't watched um, in like a few weeks. So still in whatever I had last updated. I don't remember what it was like level. Uh, level. <laughs> episode 14, 15, something like that. I don't remember. Uh, okay, Blitz. I won't doubt you. Maybe. Well, we're still through the process of uh, designing the character, so. We need to try to make something that obviously looks... Ooh, I wonder. Hmm. I wish that that... If it repainted everything, that would look cool. They do have, like, kind of a utility belt sort of thing going on. Um, the different uh, clone troopers. So, obviously, it'd be nice if we could incorporate that somehow. I mean, I guess for the sake of... That looks cool too, but a little bit inaccurate. Okay, that actually could work. Okay, so now... The helmet. What the heck do we do for the helmet, huh? Guys. What do we do for uh, Captain Rex helmet? Done. Perfect. I'm obviously kidding. I guess, like, on one hand, what we could do is kind of what we did for the uh, Boba Fett design in the past. Ooh. So it would be basically this. Repainted. Um, then you need a blue and black visor. Could be something like this. Or actually. <laughs> that won't work. I wonder, just a sec. Trying to think if any of these could look maybe more accurate. How do we make a visor? A and, of course, the rest of the entire design. No helmet. He bald. Okay, I mean, if you want to do an unmasked uh, design, that would be far easier. Like, be And, honestly, if we go with the unmasked design, then it's, it it's at least going to be accurate. So, we could go, like... This way. And just do no helmet. <laughs> right? So it'd be sort of like that. I think that looks pretty clean. You know? So that will be our take on Captain Rex. We gave him the uh, 5 o'clock shadow to make it look like that beard. Please don't look at this next design right here. Just pretend like it's not even a design that we built. Uh, next up, we have a request for Nate from Legends of Tomorrow. Nate, Legends of Tomorrow suit. I don't even know who Nate is. Let's take a look. This is our next request. Guys, don't forget, if you're enjoying the stream, hit that thumbs up button. We are just three likes away from 600. So if you haven't left a like yet, please consider doing so. Thank you so very much for the support. Uh, so who the heck is Nate? He is... Steel? Is that who the character is? Wait, when you say suit, I'm assuming you mean like superhero suit, right? Not like a... Regular business suit, right? I hope not, because that would be kind of boring. Okay, so this is Nate. 
I guess. Spoiler alert, this character's steel. Supposedly. Okay, so he's got a pretty cool looking helmet, actually. Does he ever wear this helmet in the show or no? Okay, let's just get to the design and then we'll go from there. You see, I've not watched uh, Legends of Tomorrow, so I don't know. It's like a dark blue for the gloves, but I think it'll look a little bit boring if we went for the dark blue, although... Hmm. It's so weird, because in this one picture, the costume is blue, and then the picture from the show, the costume is clearly um, black. So which one is it? Who made this request? This was uh, not Reese 22. Okay, well, not Reese. I am... I'm going to go off of the design that I see on the, uh, what looks like the show. So hopefully you'll be okay with that. Okay. So for the arms. We're going to go. Oh man. This is annoying because it's supposed to be like blue shoulder pads then uh then nothing and then uh blue arm gauntlets i guess so that's what we need to try to find something that matches all of those elements which actually i mean that matches the elements the problem is that it's not blue uh, so that makes this a little bit difficult. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that will... I wonder what this looks like. Okay. I mean, I guess we could give him the shoulder pads using the shoulder pad item. That could be a, a possibility. But let me... Oh, there we go. I think that actually works because at least you get the blue aspect there and you get the shoulder pads design so i think that that's pretty clean eric heine what's up man thank you for the 199 super chat can you do a goku design uh goku eric heine okay um so i think we'll go with that now for the torso what about the uh okay well first of all the helmet the helmet kind of looks like, um, gosh, what character does it remind me of? It totally looks like another helmet. I just can't, mm, not quite like that. It kind of almost looks like Dr. Fate a little bit. I mean, not really because of the, uh, lower part. That's what it looks like. I was going to say, it reminds me of another design here. And I think that's it. So. Um, okay, so it's red and white. So for the most part, it should be red. Red and white. Face. Uh, we'll need... For the face, what we'll need is probably uh, this design <laughs> and repaint that red. So that'll be that. Doesn't have any backpack or anything like that. So obviously it can get rid of the big giant tail. And then for the legs, it's blue, red, and black. Okay. This is Citizen Steel, apparently, is the name of the character. Cool. Red. Blue. And then black for the boots. Hmm. I wonder what this looks like repainted. Okay. Not bad. Um... This doesn't give you the black boots, but I think that that's still a pretty cool take there. It kind of works for the Lex Luthor design. Because at least you get a lot of the other aspects completed. And again, we're never going to get it like to be perfect. Because obviously we don't have like super duper 
uh, ridiculous amounts of control over how the character is going to actually specifically look. Because most of the time we can just change the different parts and pieces and we're mixing and matching. And then obviously, aside from that, it's all about recoloring and trying to get maybe the colors right. So we're going to try out this um, Lex Luthor. I don't know if they have a matching piece for um, the legs. They do. Cool. So that'll work. Now... For the torso, we can go a couple of different routes. So for the torso, the first thing we could do is literally just go for like a plain torso design. Something like this. Repainted black. The lines should be red. And then uh, give him the star, which is supposed to be white. Or maybe like even a little bit gray. So something like that. So you could go that way. In fact, I think that's probably what we're going to go for. I'm also realizing that the hips probably need to be a belt instead because he does have a belt. So let's see if we could find something like that, maybe. I'm going to scroll through to see if there's anything that is better or more accurate. If there is, we will select that, of course, instead. Um, I think that actually does look a little bit better. There we go. So that will be our take on Nate. Uh, from Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, hopefully you're happy with that design. Not Reese, 22. Thank you so very much for your um, request. All right. Next up, we have uh, Princess Leia from A New Hope. Princess Leia, New Hope. Let's get to uh, that design, Rocket Raccoon. We've already built Rocket Raccoon. It was an awful design. It was honestly just impossible because, again, you need a specific face piece for Rocket Raccoon. There's no, like, you're, you're not going to be able to, like, fake a regular Lego head to look like the shape of a raccoon's head. So it's like, good luck. You know what I mean? That sort of thing is not impossible, but... But definitely not easy to design. Um, okay, so the the most difficult part about the design for Leia would be uh, the hairstyle, because obviously she has that very specific iconic look with the uh, like kind of side hair um, or like bunched up. I don't know how you would say it. bunched up hair, maybe. Unfortunately, there isn't anything. Uh, like that. At least I don't think in the game. What's the closest? To, uh, Leia. Styled haircut. Alright, guys. I'm gonna need your help here. What kind of, uh, hair design should we pick? <laughs> what do you guys think? Can you do Death the Kid from Soul Eater? Maybe. I, I think what we'll do is maybe we'll do a... Like, some sort of a theme. Just like we did, like, last week where it was mostly designs from uh, cartoons. Maybe we'll do one that will be uh, just for... Uh, what are they called? Uh, anime. And uh, that'd be kind of cool, right? And so maybe we'll do that, like, next week or something like that. It's called Buns. Okay. There you go. Hair Buns. I guess. I'm going to change most of the other designs here because they're pretty easy and straightforward. Really no difficult redesigns there. Okay. Let's see. Da -da -da. Does she have a belt? Yeah, she has the belt, so. Nope. Make Kaneki custom? What's a Kaneki? Or who's Kaneki, I guess I should say. Um, don't think. 
don't think there's any design that is going to have that belt sort of look. Nope. Nope. Jinx. Yikes. Okay. Hmm. Does that keep the belt? I mean, at least you get a silver belt. That's what you're supposed to have in, like, for her design. So, that's kind of the closest we, we've gotten as far as designs are concerned. There's really nothing else that will be, I think, at least more accurate. Yeah. So, we'll try that. I guess the most difficult part here is trying to find a hairstyle that works because there really isn't one. It's obviously got to be uh, brown hair. I'm well aware of that. Also, I guess didn't change the uh, eyebrows to be brown here as well. So what do you guys think? Who are we making? Oh, no. You see? You see? That's the problem. Red Wolf 980. What's up, man? We're currently working on uh, Princess Leia design. Uh... Uh, Dar Darla's hairpiece. Okay. Darla. I mean, the problem here is that you get the headband. You think that works the most accurate? I mean, if you, if chat thinks this is the way to go, we'll select that. I just... Man, oh man. Does she always have her hair like that? Up? In buns? Or... I'm trying to remember. I think she did. Especially because the request was specifically for A New Hope. Uh, Princess Leia. I think her hairstyle was like that, right? Looks pretty good. I mean, it's pretty much that, or... Yeah, I mean, like, it's pretty much that. <laughs> there is no other, like, ponytail. I mean, like, I guess that's a bun as well, but it's not accurate, so... I guess you're right. I guess we kind of have to go with that. There's really nothing uh, else. Right? Try the Firestorm head? Huh? How? What? Are you okay? How is that gonna work? Okay, I guess we'll we'll stick to that, and we will give her a blaster as well. Um, probably this one, recolored to either that. Or maybe even this. I think that looks the most accurate. All right. So that'll be our take on Princess Leia from uh, A New Hope. I'm definitely becoming a member. Thank you, Jonathan uh, Donaway. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If you'd like to become a member, top link in the description. And uh, drop the link for you also in chat. Also, guys, thank you so very much over... 650 likes we just reached 670 actually likes thank you so very much for your support let's try to hit 700 likes that would be fantastic next up our next character that was requested uh was talia al ghul oh wait but those were both from the same person okay so let me get let me get this other ones done just because i i'm worried that we might not have enough we only have three character spots available so Airhead by Chase Lasko, um, Ebony Ma, and then Goku. I think will be the next three. Okay, so we'll need to create Talia al Ghul and Catwoman based on the Arkham games on a future stream. Uh, in the meantime, Airhead is next. So we've got a character called Airhead. Uh, was it Airspace Head or Airhead? One word. From Fortnite. Fortnite Airhead. 
Oh, it's the balloon! The terrifying balloon skin! That's what it was. And uh, Paradox uh, underscore uh, Ian. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you so very much for the 199 Super Chat, my friend. Thank you so very much for your support. Hey, man. Keep up the uh, great work. Thank you so very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Okay. So, let's get to the design of Airhead, who legitimately looks like a... Like, legitimately looks like a character from uh, Dead by Daylight. You know? In fact, we're going to make him a villain. Just because. Uh, now, we will give him just a regular pickaxe for the weapon of choice. And the cool thing about this design is that I actually think this will be a really fun one to put together just because it's there's a lot of like asymmetrical patterns to this character. So like for example, one of his gloves is like gray, the other one is white, so it'll be interesting to try to incorporate that all through. Okay, so the left hand is white. Then the left arm uh, let's start with the left arm. So it's got to be mostly, mostly yellow, but then the, it's supposed to be kind of r as though there's like a string around it. So I think that'll work. All right. Then the right arm, it's going to be half blue and then half gray. We're going to go blue for the top part and gray for the other part. Then, oh man, I don't know how we're going to do the, well, actually, let's see. Is there a torso that has, I'm trying to remember if there's any one of the torsos that has, um, Um, a bullseye sort of logo. Blue. The belt is supposed to be gray. So if there's a bullseye type thing, I don't think there is. I guess Deadshot is kind of close, right? So sort of like that. Now, uh, the legs, the legs are the exact same design, right? For both of the legs. So yeah, green and then brown boots. With a little bit of blue ideally incorporated as well, but I don't think we're going to get that specific here. I think we're going to go with that. Green. Brown boots. Maybe darker brown boots. No. I think that one's closer in color, kind of. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We're getting there. I'm also thinking... Maybe... Yeah, I gotta go brighter on the torso. It's too dark of a blue. It's gotta be like a... Almost like that kind of blue. Yeah. Right? It's so weird because some of these promo pictures, the blue is like way more saturated and darker. But then some of the in-game photos make it look like it's just a really, really, really bright blue. So I think we'll go with that instead. And then that means we have to actually change the arm as well to match the right arm. it would be that blue and then the gray. So that stays. Then, um, okay, so how the heck are we going to do this face? It's supposed to be a balloon with a terrifying, <laughs> like, expression. Oh, yo, yo. A red balloon, it's supposed to be. Hmm. What to do? What to do, guys? I mean, I guess what we could do, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. I think we have to incorporate this, right? To give that kind of balloon sort of shape. It's just how do we make the face look somewhat scary? 
I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be able to make the eyes look like X's. That's just not a feature, unfortunately. Make oops. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Chat. Just a sec. Let me just finish this design, and then we'll go from there. No, that's not going to work. Um... Any ideas, chat, on what should we use for the face? Any suggestions, I guess I should say. I'm also realizing you have that, like, trap thing around the neck area. I'm trying to think if we could possibly incorporate that somehow. Sort of, like that. Mods don't time me out. Holy. Well, they're, they're not going to time you out when they're the ones that are actually posting it. So, really, how would that happen? What do you guys think about the face? What should we use? Try the Joker head in red. Okay. I wonder, just a sec, sorry. I'm just curious to see what will this look like. Not accurate, that's what. Okay, uh, Joker head in red. No, that's not gonna work. I mean, I guess in theory what we could do is also just, um... <laughs> use that repainted in red. Kind of. Right? I mean, that's an, an option. Um, is there anything more accurate? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Yikes. This is tough. Like, some of these designs are cool, but... They're, like, completely inaccurate, you know? For what we're going for. I think we kind of have to go with the skeleton look. Like, it's the most... Closely related... Or, like, close looking... To the design. So I think that'll be our take... On Airhead. Okay, how many more character spots do we have left? Let's see. We have two more, and we had a request for Goku, Ebony Ma, and then, of course, chat is going bananas with the oops. Okay, so here's what I'll do, guys. I will let you guys decide. Um, vote. Because we had a request from A-Bomb for Ebony Ma. And then Eric Heine voted for Goku, which means that in order for us to make uh, the Oops character, we would have to eliminate one of these characters. So, who gets eliminated? Uh... Doo -doo. I guess I'll start to build Ebony Ma here as a character. <laughs> I mean, I just honestly, like, I, I just think that it's not fair to the people who have super chatted that we would uh, eliminate their character requests. So what I'm thinking is, what if we did this, guys? What if we went ahead and designed both of the characters that were requested today? But, um, the first character that we build next week would be, uh, the Oops Monkey. And then that way, it builds anticipation for next week's episode. You guys already will know ahead of time what the character will be that we're building. 
What do you think about that as a fair uh, solution, I guess? Should be white. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. What do you think about that? Chat, we hit 700 likes. What do you think? <laughs> Make the Oops Monkey its own video. Yeah, actually, I wouldn't even mind doing that. I could do like a separate post for um, maybe even on Instagram. I could do that as a post. So you would see. Um, you would see that posted uh, there. Would you guys be OK with that? That's fair. Okay, so I think that's what we'll do. So then we still have Goku. And. Dang it. Uh, Ebony Ma to design. Holy moly. This character is really tough to, like, get exactly correct. Just because the design is so, like, specific. And I don't know how we're going to make that Squidward looking face happen. But we're certainly going to try. I'll tell you that much. And I guess that kind of incorporates at least some of the correct colors, right? Like the gray, the white. Doesn't have any of the blue, unfortunately. I wish it did. But at least it has some of the right colors. I actually think this looks pretty clean too, but you get completely... Like the colors should be kind of like flipped here. So... I think that we'll probably stick to this as the design. Okay, let me just get some more of the design done and then we'll pick and choose from there. Okay, we can get rid of the hair. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Face plate. Okay, which face makes the most amount of sense, guys? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Can you play it? Uh, sorry. This is from King T'Challa, who says, Can you please make Marcus in Gears of War? Uh, that would be really cool. We could maybe do, again, like uh, a video game themed episode where all of the characters will be from um, video games. And then we would incorporate that on that episode. Um, what color are... Hmm. Doesn't work. Uh, K KP uh, How Hauser. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you so very much for the 39 MX. Thank you so very much for your support, my friend. Are you going to play the new Paper Mario? Yes, that is coming out uh, later on this month. Uh, Origami King. So we will be playing that on the channel. Thank you so very much for your super chat support, Alex Casimir. Thank you for that super chat hype blitz. You should post the Oops Monkey design on the members community tab. Ooh, is that what we're gonna do? Members exclusive? Is that a members exclusive? Real quick. Spider, you got everybody to help you spam it, and then you you want to make it an exclusive, bro? Really? Okay, I'm trying to see which face makes the most amount of sense. You know what I just literally came to a realization with? With Lego figurines? They don't have noses. Like, I literally just now noticed it. Isn't that weird? Lego uh, pieces don't have noses. That's so weird. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I just find that to be kind of bizarre. To be honest. Um, okay, for the armor. So again, we're looking for gold, black, blue, and white as kind of like the, the main colors. That's not gonna work. Whenever I think any of any of the gold armors in the game, it kind of makes me think of more of the um, Aquaman sort of characters. So that's what I'd like to check, but clearly these are not going to work. There's nothing but gold armor there, so that's not going to work. Man, oh man, this is a tough task. It's 
still think that that kind of works. You know what? Again, we're not going to get the colors here correctly or the design, like as far as like the actual look of the armor, just because, I mean, it's such a specific look that you've selected. But what we will do is we will still, um, I hope at least wind up with the character. Man, that does look pretty good, actually. That would work. And then if we could just find a hip piece that matches that. Let's see, let's see. Uh, just that repainted into black. I think that'll do. I need to remove the sword. From what I remember, he did not use the sword. Oh, wait. Why do I have the speedster ability on this guy? Didn't even realize that. Uh, we will actually give him a trickster, maybe. No. Martial artist, cool. I think the cool pose kind of works well for uh, Ebony Maw. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so. I think that will be the first member of the um, Dark Order from Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. I'm trying to... Ah, the face color is like a little bit wrong, right? I think it's a little bit too dark. It really might be... You know what? Let me just look the, like, actual Lego design. What do they do? Lego... Uh, I wonder what color they chose for him. Okay, so yeah, they went for, like, a super light color. So maybe even like this, really. I think that works. For the character... Of... Ebony Ma. All right. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our last design, which will be Shala. Head Shala. It's the one and only Goku. <laughs> That's what we're going to try to build. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking, I think we've built uh, a Goku design before, right? So because of that, I'm kind of thinking of doing a Super Saiyan design. Um, so the Goku design, by the way. Oh, sorry. First of all, Ebony Ma was requested by A-Bomb. So thank you so very much for your request. And this design is actually requested by uh, Eric Heine. So if you don't mind, I think we're going to go for a Super Saiyan design. Is that the perfect Super Saiyan hair? Guys, chat. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, please. If you guys agree or disagree, let me know what you think. That is obviously way over the top. Uh, also, guys, thank you so very much for 735 likes. Let's try to go on ahead and if we can, hit 750 likes. So if you haven't dropped a like yet, please consider doing so. We could also go this route, which I think would actually look pretty awesome. All right. I think that that would actually look pretty clean. I was kidding about that other uh, design, obviously. I probably don't need to clarify that, but I know somebody might have thought that that was actually the design that I thought we should go for. So let me clarify. It is not the design that I believe we should have gone for. Now watch chat. Just go, okay, uh, thank you for all the thumbs down chat. What's up with that? I was just kidding. Wait, do his... When Goku goes Super Saiyan, do his eyebrows change? I guess they do. That's weird. Another thing that I guess I uh, never noticed. His eyebrows go Super Saiyan as well, I guess. That's uh, that's a weird sentence right there. Okay, for the pose, we're going to go with the strong pose. I think that makes most sense. Uh, now, he does have the blue armbands. 
But I also am thinking that I don't... Yeah, I don't remember any design where it would be blue on the shoulder pads and then blue armbands. I don't think there's anything like that. So because of that, I think we're just going to have to go with... Um, sort of like a blue... Kind of like that type design. Then... So we're going for Super Saiyan design, by the way, for the people who are like, no, he has black hair. I I, I know. I'm. That's not what we're trying to design right now. We're going for a completely different take, clearly. That you were not paying attention to. We're going for... Um, Super Saiyan. Okay. Oh, that'll do. He does have a blue belt, so we can probably keep the hip piece that color. This is the tougher part here, is trying to figure out how to do the orange. I don't know how we're going to do that. I almost think that that looks decently accurate. Just because, I mean, I guess, like, as far as, like, the outfit is concerned, it's supposed to be orange and then blue underneath. So it's kind of like a two, two design outfit. Or two color outfit, sorry. And the League of... Um, the League of Shadows can probably somewhat work here. So, I, you know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. So, let's have a vote. Vote one, chat, if you guys think that this... Uh, okay, wait. Also, let me change the hands first. Because he does not have any <laughs> gloves. Um, so, vote one if you think that this looks good. And then vote two if you think that... The sorry, this looks better. And again, for those of you that are like, what are we building? And in fact, I would say that if we're going with this, the other thing we would need to change or need to add would be also this, because I think that looks just much better. So what do you guys think? One or two? Uh, Zaptronics, thank you, man. I appreciate the kind words. Oh, wow. Okay. Most people are voting one, actually. Okay. So, I guess we were going to go, uh, back to... The League of Shadows. The League of Shadows. Always makes me think of uh, the way that uh, Bane used to say. The League of Shadows. There we go. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that will be our take on the Goku design. So, now it is time to go on ahead and vote. For those of you that maybe are just tuning in, maybe some of you guys stuck through the whole stream. If you watch the whole stream, right... Um, write Goku in the chat. So, let's see. If you've watched the whole stream, thank you guys so very much for the support. First of all, I want to thank our one brand new member. I want to thank, of course, all of our super chatters. Thank you guys for an absolutely insanely, insanely amount of super chats supporting here today's uh, stream. Thank you for all 751 of you guys. Sorry, 752 of you guys who left a like. I really do appreciate that a ton. And... So, now it is time to go on ahead and have you guys vote on the different designs that we built here today. So, 
as we go through these designs, don't forget, guys, when you leave a rating, uh, leave a score out of 10 along with the name of the character. So, for example, if the first design that we're uh, going to evaluate is going to be a request by Chase Riley for the Fortnite skin known as Guff, you would write Guff and then, let's say, a 1 out of 10. Okay? So, that's basically the way that the scoring works. And so, let's begin. So, speaking of which, this was the first design that was requested by... Uh, the one and only uh, Chase Riley, and it was the Fortnite uh, costume known as Guff. A very tough, no pun intended there, uh, and no rhyme intended, I guess. First design to get started with, but it is what it is. Uh, after that, we had a request from Zofo, who made a request for Luigi. Which I think actually did turn out really awesome. Again, if we could just repaint the overalls to be um, blue. I mean, it would be not perfect for Luigi, but it would be pretty close. It would be pretty, pretty close. So it looks like overall Guff is getting around like four, five or six points. So in that range, which means that it's probably, let's say a five out of ten average. So let's see what uh, Luigi gets as a score. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, rate this particular design. Uh, after that, we had a request from Chase Lasco, who actually requested a character from uh, Dead by Daylight, known as the Trapper. So this was uh, our take on uh, the Trapper character. Again, would have been nice to be able to actually recolor the um, overalls, if we could have. It would have worked much, much better. But there's the Trapper. Terrifying character. Uh, Luigi, 5 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 7 out of 10. 10. 6 out of 10. 7 out of 10. It looks like 7 out of 10 seems to be pretty much like a fair average score. Because some people say 5. Some people are saying 10. Then a lot of people are actually saying uh, 7 out of 10. So I think the average probably would be around a 7 out of 10. So there's the Trapper character. Leave your ratings for this character. What do you guys think? In the chat. After we finished the Trapper design, we then went ahead and built the Emperor, which was a crest by uh, Clifford Sutton. I think this is probably our best design of the day. I mean, it's super duper accurate. So I think this one actually did turn out really, 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 really cool. So this is the Emperor, a.k.a. Emperor Palpatine. Gave him the lightning ability, just because I think that that looks really cool. So go on ahead and leave your rating for the Emperor in the chat or in the comment section, even if you're not tuning in live. Still love to hear your opinions down in the comment section below. Okay. Then, next up after that, we built Spawn, which was a request by Matt0124. We went with the sword sort of design this time. With kind of like uh, the green energy blast that he would have. Have the asymmetrical design going on on the legs, which is cool. We went with the um, bright red and dark red cape. I think this one turned out really cool. If you don't think Palpatine is the best design today, I think that Spawn probably... I'm trying to remember out of all the designs that we built. I think Spawn probably takes the cake. So... Uh, wow, Emperor Palpatine is getting crazy good scores. Okay. I guess people like the uh, Palpatine design. Uh, then after that, we actually had two people request the uh, Ellie design from Last of Us 2. And that was um, Paul Woodward and Antonio Ladaria, both of whom requested Ellie uh, based on the Last of Us 2. And so there's our take on Ellie from the Last of Us 2. We have the uh, backpack design going as well. I forgot to change the shirt. For this character but i still think that again this one works plenty well so i guess if you want to readjust the shirt design um to the other one you can go to which one was it i forget oh, i don't remember which design it was for ally let me see uh doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm trying to remember which character it was. There's another shirt design that we tried. The chat. Oh, I think it was this one. So chat was saying that they think this one looks more accurate, I guess. So there you go. If 
you want, you could go for that design as well. You can maybe pretend that the logo she has on the shirt is kind of the Firefly logo. So, uh, wow, Ellie's getting a 10 out of 10. Uh, then a few people are saying 7 out of 10. Um, 7 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Okay, 10 out of 10. So, different scores there for Ellie. But again, I think that still a pretty cool design. And again, quite accurate. Now, next up after that, we had a request from Simon uh, Pinsent, who had asked uh, to see a design for Captain Rex, based on, of course, uh, the Clone Wars. So there's our take on Captain Rex. What do you guys think of this design? We obviously went with an unmasked or unhelmeted look, just because there was no way that we could make a clone trooper helmet that would be accurate, especially because he's supposed to have that antenna as well that's sticking out of the head, so... Again, we had to go on ahead and try to get as close as possible. And I think we did a pretty good job there uh, overall. Nathan Monero, thank you for watching the channel for so long. I appreciate that. Uh, Kin T'Challa, maybe on next week's stream. Uh, Shay, same answer to you, my friend. Can you do Lone Star? Who's Lone Star? Ti Timer uh, Co-Car. Co What's Lone Star? I know that that's a restaurant. Yeah, like literally, it just comes up with Texas Grill. That's the place that I know as well. Lone Star character? I don't know. Like, it's just coming up with like some TV show. I don't know. Okay. Captain Rex ratings. Okay. Iron Fist thinks it's an 8 out of 10. Not bad. Lime is in agreement. So is Zofo. Okay, so I think that a fair rating for Captain Rex is probably an 8 out of 10, it looks like, as far as all the selections. After that, we had a request for for Nate from Legends of Tomorrow. This one was from Not Reese 22 So this was our take on the character of Nate. Again, if you're going to ask me, like, who is Nate or... What is the character? I don't know because I've not watched Legends of Tomorrow. So literally went off of uh, just one of the pictures there for the design. And so this was our take on Nate from Legends of Tomorrow. And from what I understand, he's supposed to be steel. So I guess maybe if you wanted to, you could go for the arms instead with a gray color to kind of emulate that idea of when his arms turn into steel form. So you could do that as well. So that's going to be our take on Nate right there. Okay, then after we completed that design, we got a request for Princess Leia, and this was our take on, uh, sorry, A New Hope, specifically, uh, Princess Leia. So this was our take on Princess Leia there. Thank you for the super chat. Um, Felix R R Ricard. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you so very much for the 229. Very weird number for a super chat, but okay. Thank you. It's just random. That's all. Uh, can you make Owen Grady from Jurassic World? Felix, we're actually done designing for today because we've already uh, made 12 characters. So, okay. So, I'm going to make the oops characters separately as a video. Owen Grady will be the first character we build on the next stream then. Um, so... Uh, Princess Leia ratings, and also I forgot to write down the... Christian Wayne was the person that requested the Princess Leia design, so there you go. Then, after that, we had a request from Chase Lasko again, actually, uh, as he had requested to see uh, Airhead from Fortnite. This design was just incredibly tricky, but honestly, a whole lot of fun to build, just because it's like such a all-over-the-place character, so... Uh, Noel says, Princess Leia looks more like Padme. Okay. Fair enough. 5.5 out of 10. 8.5. 5 out of 10. Holy, dude. Zofo is just going just super critical on the Leia design. But that's fair. That's fine. I think the Leia design probably is like, from the ratings that you guys are dropping, probably like a 7 out of 10 maybe, right? For the most part. That seems to be kind of a fair um, evaluation there. Then, 
After that, uh, A Bomb uh, had requested uh, Ebony Maw. So this was our take on Ebony Maw, based on, of course, the Infinity War slash Endgame designs. Wow, what the heck? Okay, people, some people, I guess, uh, actually gave uh, Airhead a pretty good rating. <laughs> Thomas Hurley is a 0 out of 10. Thomas Hurley, you just brought the overall score down for Airhead, way down. I think Airhead, just being fair, probably like a 6 out of 10, maybe a 5 out of 10. So this is our take on uh, Ebony Ma. So go on ahead and leave your rating for this character. I wonder how he will rate. And, of course, then last but certainly not least, we got a request from Eric Heine, who had requested to see a design for Goku. And we decided to go with a Super Saiyan design. Uh, so that is our take on Goku. So there you guys go. Those are all 12 of the different customs that we designed today. Guys, thank you to all 792 of you who went ahead and dropped a like. Let's try to hit 800 likes before the stream is over. That would be spectacularly awesome. Of course, once again, huge shout outs to all of you guys who tuned in today. I really, really do appreciate you guys. Next week's episode, which of course is for sure happening, we're going to go on ahead and start things off with the Owen Grady design. And then, as I promised, I will get a uh, custom design done for the uh, Oops emote or oops monkey and we'll probably post that on instagram maybe early post here's what we'll do early post in the community tab for members and then i'll post it on instagram probably on the weekend so uh there you go i think that will be somewhat fair so thank you guys so very much for your support i will hopefully see you guys here next time have an absolutely fantastic day and of course i'll see you all later alligators Peace out. Oh, wait a minute. Eric Heine coming through with the 199 super chat. Uh, can you do a Green Ranger next stream? Sure. There we go. So, as I was saying, peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye.